Got him. Pull. Ah, uh, clipped it. Pull. Got one. Mm -hmm. Pull. Ah, oh, you clipped it. You clipped the rabbit. That was even. That wasn't even aiming through the beads. It was just. You're just like. I just was instinct. Like, yeah. Just try the rabbit. Yeah. Oh, you got it. All right, so do the right one. I want to just shoot this one coming at me. Pull. Do the left one. Pull. Barely missed that one. We got the last one again. Pull. Ah, behind it. And then do the right one or the the left one, I guess. Pull. How do we shoot that one? Because I pretty much felt like I was spot on. Hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Those were the first, I want to say, went through six boxes, so six times 25, 150 rounds of shotgun ammo about. Um, shooting the Winchester target heavy load um, eight shot, and surprisingly did very well. Have it here, of course, it's more for like aesthetics because you don't need a tactical side mount for your shotgun for uh, sport clays but did 150 rounds or so and the gun had no hiccups those were the first 150 rounds i ever shot through the gun and shotgun and never once skipped a beat we probably did 150 shots in about an hour's time so we were really going through it um the barrel did get hot expected um, we, we walked so this was the first time doing capital city clays as well and we'll definitely be going back great area great targets they have kind of beginner intermediate and hard box stands or something whatever you call it but overall really good experience um so as you guys can see we did extend the stock out like i said before or in the previous video of the, the assembly of the mossberg the reason i got the mag full stock not just because of looks, was being able to adjust the stock on the fly um, like this. Yeah, it doesn't look maybe the best, but for different people, I can just take, take a flathead or any little key and I'm able to adjust it. So when it's fully compressed, my girlfriend will be able to use it. And for me and Chris, as you guys saw in the video, we extended it by two holes and it was a perfect shouldering fitment. So yeah. Currently, the shotgun did really well. I really like, look a wasp. I really like the Magpul forend. I have no problems whatsoever with it. I do like putting my hand farther back. So you have this little grip. You can also do it pretty forward and these little ridges help you pretty well to get a good grip. But overall, super happy with it, the stock. I was really happy with it. I did notice, and um, I mean, it's because I'm using it incorrectly without the extended spacers, is over time that this pops off, but not an issue at all. Um, shoulder feel feels great. The beads on the shotgun, as far as I can tell, are fit and were accurate, true. And yeah, I mean, no complaints whatsoever. whatsoever. Of course now, when because it's back home, even though it's a super long barrel, I loaded some uh, buckshot, ball gauge, because um, you never know. So 
yeah, overall super happy with the Mossberg. If you guys are looking for a budget clay shotgun, I mean, this thing was 200 bucks without the upgrades. I think walked out of Academy for $227. So if you're looking to get into the sport of clay shooting, here is a great shotgun. You don't need an over-under. You don't need a semi-automatic. We went out with the pump action and just had more fun, if not as much fun as those guys shooting over-unders, I think. There's such a satisfaction about racking the slide. Um, and then, yeah, so Capital City Clays, we went, we got a first time discount, so it's 44 cents per target. We shot about 97 targets and it came out to be roughly around $35 per person. That's with, um, without ammo. So you're looking at ammo, nine bucks a box. So it's rounded up to 10, we went through six boxes at 60 rounds. So all in all, you're looking at about $130, $140. Now, if you're a member, you get, like I said, $0.44 cents a target. If you're not a member, you're looking at $0.55 cents a target. But if you're looking for a fun hobby right now, because, of course, 223, 556, 9 mil, a little bit expensive, this is a great way. And it's more engaging than I think from looking at or shooting at paper targets. But if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, do your thing. Maybe in the future, because I found a good website for 9mm ammo. I bought 100 rounds for $35. I bought 200 rounds of 223 for $98. Uh, if I get more people that follow this channel are interested in 2A content, I will definitely let you in on where I find ammo for pretty cheap. I've been stockpiling it. I found some green tips on uh, 223s for fairly relatively cheap price. About 25 28 cents a round. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's it for the Mossberg 88 clay shooting. Super fun. We'll definitely be going back. And if you guys are in Austin, check out Capital Clays. Phenomenal facility. And until next time.